Hey, glad you clicked on this one because today I'm going to show you how to create this shader for a wall fountain. This is fake. This is just a plane. And you can see it's kind of like water running uh, on actual pebble. But again, it's fake. So how does this work? This takes in two hike maps, one uh, for the pebble and one for the water. Uh, it also takes the uh, color map for just the color of the pebble, takes normal map for the pebble and normal map for water, and um, does some shader magic to blend all of this together. The, um, the shader can change the offset of pebble and multiplication, basically how much depth the pebble has, the size for tiling, and the same things for water. You can change the offset, and uh, the depth, the size of water. You can change, obviously, also the speed. Uh, that's too much. Uh, and also there is a little bit of deform deformation uh, of the water around the pebble based on the height map of the pebble and you can change that using this here. You can also change the tint color of the water uh, and you can see there is also some basic refraction and some parallax. All right, with that in mind, if you like this video, make sure you check my links that are in the description. I don't show ads, and so these links are the only support for me. Even if you don't want to buy anything, just clicking around is helpful. Also, the like button is free. You can click that, and uh, the subscribe button as well, so that you can see the other stuff that I make. So let's just jump into it. Let's put this back here, and let's go to shader graph and expand this make it bigger and let's start from here this is the height of the pebble we are using a parameter for the size connecting that to tiling if you want to have uh, x tiling and y tiling you can do that with two parameters or vector two we use that as the uv for just sample node for the height uh, texture of the pebble uh, and by the way, I generated all of these uh, textures using Blender. Um, if you really want a tutorial about that, I can make one, but let me know in the comments. So after that, we multiply the value by the depth parameter, and then we add in our offset, offset parameter. This is used here. I'll, I'll show you um, how we are, for the water height, we are getting the time node multiplying by speed and we get the refraction so that uh, after passing of long time it won't make uh, an issue with uh, precision so basically it's a, a safe way to use time and we use that as the offset and the size as the tiling again you can use two values for x and y tiling and so on now we add in uh, our value from like the, the pebble height, we subtract it by half so that it, it becomes between minus half and half. And then we multiply it by the water deformed from height uh, parameter. And then we add that to our UV for the, for the water so that it basically uh, makes it deform a little bit. We use that to sample the water height. And we get the uh, red or green or blue, it doesn't matter. Uh, of that, we multiply the depth parameter, we add the offset parameter, and then we can blend the two heights. And to blend them, I use the custom function, uh, which is, it's known as smooth subtraction of an SDF, of a sign distance field, uh, which does some little fancy stuff um, to to make the subtraction between them kind of smoother and so this takes in the smooth blend parameter and the two heights 
Uh, after that, we multiplied by SDF multi, and then we can use um, saturate function so that uh, the value is between zero and one. And uh, then we can use that to blend uh, between what's water and what's pebble. Uh, the only thing left down here is that I'm also using the same UV for uh, the water height as well as to sample the normal map of the water. Uh, after that, I'm just using a, a normal strength so that you can change the strength of the normal map of the water. And, um, and then this is used in uh, two places. Let's check this one out. So we're getting the uh, blend of the height map into here to, to uh, switch between the normal map of the water and the normal map of the pebble. Uh, same thing here, normal strength for uh, pebble normal. And we blend using the height map, and that just connects to the normal. Now, the UV for the pebble normal is going to be here, the same for uh, the color. And it's a bit different from the UV from uh, of the, the, the water, because I'm doing some uh, refraction and some parallax. So, to do parallax, you just get the view vector, put it in tangent, you get the x and y, you divide that by the z. This will give you basic parallax. And um, uh, we multiply by this stuff. This stuff is the, um, the, first we have the parallax amount parameter multiplied by a small number so that you can uh, change it easier. And then we add in our refraction value. The refraction value is going to be the uh, value from the normal map of the water. We add in minus 0 0.5 uh, to x and y so that the values are between minus 0 0.5 and plus 0 0.5. We multiply that by our uh, small parameter for the refraction strength and then we add in our parallax amount. Both of these are then multiplied by the uh, the height map and then we also multiply by the value from the parallax uh, and so all of this becomes our offset which means that places under the uh, the water effect will get the um, the refraction and parallax while places that are under the double uh, height map will not get anything. Uh, we connect the pebble size to the tiling and then we can use that as our UV for sampling the, the color of the pebble as well as the normal map of the pebble. Um, and then for the color we just multiply it by the uh, color tint, the water color tint, and then um, I'm using the same value from the height to uh, go between the normal uh, color and the color with tint. And that's going to be our base color. Um, and then same thing for smoothness. I'm just getting the height uh, and looping between the pebble smoothness and water smoothness. Um, yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. And uh, let me know if you have any questions in the comments or any requests. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button if you like it and check the links in the description. Bye-bye.